Okay, in this pot I have two cups of water and to that I'm going to add one tablespoon of organic flax seeds. What are you doing? Why do I have so much water and just a small amount of flax seeds? This is my strainer. These puppies right here chewed it all up. So this is all I have to work with. I don't have any cheesecloth or stockings that I want to be fooling with. I need this flax gel to be at a very liquid point so that I can just strain it straight through. And as you can see, I have this on a very high temperature. Uh, that is to accommodate for the lack of flax seeds I have. I'm going to, I'm going to, shut up! I'm gonna boil this at a very, very high temperature. That way the, the water will evaporate and I will end up with the same proportion I would have uh, if I had chosen a lower temperature and more flax seeds or less water. All right, let's take a look at it. Let's see. Okay, that's perfect. So I'll go ahead and pour it in. Okay. I'm going to try to get that excess out of there. So I'll be able to reuse these flax seeds, so I won't be really wasting them. I don't like to waste things. All right, here we go with round two, and uh, these are the same seeds I used the first time. Okay, so after I strain out the second round, then I pour everything back into the pan. And then I put it on medium and cook that for about five minutes. That's going to evaporate some more of the water and make it a little more gel-like. This is a longer process, of course, but this would give me the same consistency gel as I would have had if I would have went ahead and um, cooked it longer with the seeds in it. All right, so here is the end result. It's a little bit thicker. I'm going to go ahead and cap it and put it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to use it. With the rest of my flax gel, I'm going to use a little bit of glycerin for the humectant properties. A little bit of aloe vera gel, some almond oil, grapeseed oil, tea tree oil, and just a little bit of lemon essential oil for fragrance. Almond oil is a very good emollient for the hair and the skin. And grapeseed oil is also good as an emollient, but it's not as greasy. It won't leave you with such a greasy feel. Tea tree oil, that's going to be for the antifungal and antibacterial. And of course, like I said, just for the scent, a little bit of lemon. This is how much glycerin I'm adding. Not very much because flax gel is kind of a humectant in its own right. Aloe vera gel, don't need much of that either. Yeah, no, just a little bit more. Okay. Don't need a lot of oils at all because you don't want the final product to be oily. Just want it to have a little hint of oil. Tea tree, just a drop or two. And lemon, also just a drop or two. One, two. Uh, when you're adding your essential oils, it's, it's best to not add them until after your product is cooled down to room temperature. Because if, if you add it while it's still hot, there's a chance that they could evaporate or even change the formulary of the product. Okay, so I'm just going to whisk this a little bit. I don't want to get out the blender or whisk it too much because I don't want it to foam up. That's another thing. You can use flax gel as a shampoo because it does cleanse the hair. And if you like foam and bubbles and suds and all that, it'll give you a little bit of suds, not a lot. But it has a natural sudsy texture. Okay, that's good enough for me. 
I'm gonna transfer this into my container. Also, another tip, when you're filling up containers, if you're gonna put them in the, a bottle or any type of airtight container, don't fill it all the way up to the top because it does have a chance of expanding, especially these kind, kind of products where they're going to gel up a little bit. You don't want it to explode inside the bottle or make the bottle explode itself. All right, so this is what I ended up with. This is eight ounces, two four ounce bottles. Remember I started off with four cups of water. I did two rounds with the same seeds, two rounds of two cups each. So when I evaporated most of the water out, I ended up with exactly eight ounces.